Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. I'm going to do number one on the General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is part of the Harvard Square MTEL Math Workshop series. And if you're interested in going to those, you can attend any of the workshops that are coming up. Just go to GoMath.com or you can check out my information below on this link. Let's look at number one. In the number 2010, the value represented by the digit one is what fraction of the value represented by the digit two? It's a great problem. There's some key words here, words that uh, give us clues on how to think about this problem. The first one, if we're, uh, is the value. Second one is represent. Third one is digit. These are all clues that are going to help us. And then there's one more, there's one more really special one, fraction. And guess what? I can also see that it's using fractions in the answer choices. So no matter what I do, I'm going to be using fractions, something with a part to a whole. Okay, so now let's look at the ones I have in red. These are keywords. Keywords are like understanding the concept that you need to know in order to open up a door. If you don't understand the core concept, it's very hard to open up that door. You could pound on it, you could smash it, but you know what? You're not going to open it. But if you know the keywords, then all you need to do is turn the doorknob. In this case, those keywords help us understand the idea in this problem, understand the idea of place value. Because this is a pl in one way, this is very much a place value problem. So if we think about this, this question in terms of, of place value, I think we're going to be in a, a really good spot. So in terms of place value, if we look at the number 2010, and we just if we just examine the place value of the digits, um, let's say we could do 0, 1, 0, 2. Well, the first digit is in the ones column. The second digit is in the tens column. The third is in the hundreds. The fourth is in the thousands. So if we're, if we're curious about the, the value represented by the digit 1, well, isn't that the same as we have 1, 10? So that digit 1 is really equal to 10. And in the 2, the digit 2, well, isn't that I have two one thousands? So the value represented by the digit 2 is really 2,000. Now, another way to think about, when we go back to this problem and we read it, it's kind of wordy. So I, I recommend to teachers to make your life easier. And make your life easier by taking this phrase, the value represented by the digit 1, and crossing it out. Because that really is just another way of saying 10, right? So um, let's think about it in terms of what it's really saying. Just 10. And then this phrase here, the value represented by the digit 2, well, that's just a fancy smancy way of saying 2,000. Now let's add in this idea of the fraction. A fraction, we always have a part to hold. So in the number 2,010, 10 is what fraction of 2,000? Well, we have our fraction right here. 10 divided by 2,000. Um, now, we can do a bunch of different things, but some teachers say, well, cross out the zeros. This is true, but let's think of it another way. Let's think of it, let's think of it as dividing by a factor of 10. And when we do later videos um, using, uh, um, using fractions, we'll talk about why we're dividing by factors of 10 or why I'm even doing this. But I think it's important to think about it and so you should start thinking about it on the first problem. 10 divided by um, 10 is 1, and 2,000 divided by 10 is 200. This helps us conveniently get to the answer. I like this problem a lot. It has key words which lead us to, under, um, to thinking about the idea of place value. It also starts us thinking about the idea of fractions and part to holes, and this test is so much about part to whole, you wouldn't believe it. Okay, team. This is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Check out one of the Intel Math workshops in Harvard Square. Uh, we have one coming up on uh, April, a two-day workshop, coming up on April 27th plus uh, April 28th. I hope you can check that out, or you can go to the website and find out when the next Intel Math workshops are, or contact me uh, regarding Intel Math tutoring. I hope you found this helpful. Keep on watching, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.